the things I want to tell you is that I can relate a lot to you guys because I was a uh, I was also an upper bound student. I was an upper bound trio student, and uh, and so I benefited a lot from programs like this that allowed me to sort of expand my horizons and say, hey, maybe I should become an astronaut. Maybe I should do this because I was exposed to a college environment and I said, hey, anything is possible if you go to college. I tell you, I grew up from, from very humble beginnings. I came as a migrant farm worker. My parents are from Michoacan, Mexico, and we used to go up and down the uh, California and, uh, and pick crops and went to school and you know, the good thing is my parents always stuck me in school. Then they finally decided to stay in one place, Stockton, California, and I ended up uh, going to school there and started doing very well. But the thing that really hooked me and wanted to be an astronaut was when I saw the astronauts walking on the moon. Uh, I was, I'm old enough to remember that part, the very last part of it anyway. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing them on TV and I said, wow, I said, that's what I want to do. And you know, the best thing I could have done that day was to share that dream with my parents. And my dad gave me one simple recipe because he looked at me and said, you know, I think you can do it. And <coughs> I was surprised he said I can, I, that uh, he thought I could be an astronaut. Uh, he only had a third grade education. We were working as in, in, in the fields. But he said, he said, it's simple. He says, it's a five ingredient recipe. Five ingredients, he says. You follow this ingredients and you can do it. He said, first, define what you want to be in life. You know, what do you guys want to be when you grow up? Define that. Second, recognize how far you are from that goal. Third, draw yourself a roadmap. Draw every step of the way from where you understand where you're at to where you want to go. And don't skip steps, because you'll be tempted to skip steps. And you may get there, but you're not going to be well prepared. So the more the story was, my dad said in the third ingredient, Wrote, draw yourself a roadmap, no shortcuts. Fourth, get yourself a good education, like you're doing right now, good, good grades. And fifth, you know, he used the field work with me as an example. He says, you know that effort you put out in the field working hard? He pointed to my books, he says, you put it there. Put it in your books, and when you graduate college and you work, you put it in your job. Always give more than what people ask for. He says, you mix all that up, it can be whatever you want. And I believe that, took that hook, line, and sinker, and guess what? It worked. I think the only thing I would add to that whole thing is perseverance. In other words, the sixth ingredient, perseverance, don't give up on yourselves. You know, we too, too often we are our own worst enemies. You know, we try something, we fail at it. Everybody hates failure. I hate failure. And so for fear of not failing again, you don't try it again. But that wasn't me. I, I said, you know, I want to get selected. So guess what? NASA didn't reject me once or twice or three times. NASA rejected me 11 times. It wasn't until the 12th time that I got selected as an astronaut. So imagine if I would have given up the second time, the third time, or even the 11th time. I wouldn't have got selected as an astronaut. I wouldn't be here to tell you that I flew up on Space Shuttle Discovery in 2009 as the flight engineer, third in line to pilot the shuttle on a 14-day mission to the International Space Station.